Cooking Everything Outdoors show. I hope you try this at home. Now it's time for our roasted green bean and asparagus uh, dish that we're going to do in the Dutch oven. And first thing that we've got to do is we need to prep our beans and our asparagus. And these are fresh green beans and all, I, I don't go through a lot of work on these and I don't expect you to either, but we're just going to trim the ends off these bad boys real quick. And I usually, I'll just take uh, three or four of them and I'll make sure that they're they're not overgrown and they're not puffy or dried and tired. And we'll just get and cut the ends off of that. And it's as simple as that um, to do. Now, in our 14 inch Dutch oven here, which is quite large, is where I'm gonna start throwing basically the beans and the asparagus and everything. So it's green beans, trimmed. We'll finish trimming those up in a second. It's asparagus, we're gonna trim those. I have about six cloves of garlic, just finely uh, minced, not minced, but just diced, if you will, chopped up. I'm going to slice up an onion, an onion, and I'm going to slice up a lemon. I'm going to drizzle some nice olive oil over the top of that with some salt and pepper. The process of roasting is almost all the heat's going to be on top. So this lid is going to have the primary source of heat. I've got a 14-inch Dutch oven, I'm going to use about 28 coals. I'm only going to put maybe five or six on the bottom, not a lot of heat on there. The majority of it's going to be on the top because I really, I just like putting it in a broiler, in your oven. I want the heat to go down and roast these vegetables. And it's nothing more than that. And it's a very, very quick process. So let's get these finished cut up here. Now see this one's a very, what I call woody. The beans are starting to swell on it. And that's one that I wouldn't use. The other ones are nice and fresh and tender. And just get the last of these trimmed up here. You could probably use some Italian flat beans if you want. Something a little different. This uh, process of roasting would be good for some, uh, some squash, some zucchini, whatever combination that, that you want to put in there. think just about have it there. So we're just going to dump these in in our Dutch oven. It's time to tackle the, the asparagus. These are just really fresh asparagus spears and, and so far all I've done uh, after I've washed them is uh, snapped off the bottom. You know, a lot of people just trim the end off, but there's a natural breaking point on asparagus. If you were to just hold it and snap it, that's really where you want it. This is the tough part, and this is the tender part. It's a natural breaking point um, for asparagus. So just snap these off. Simple as that. Find your snapping point. Now I have this beautiful asparagus. And you can, uh, at this point, you could trim it and cut it in half, make it a little smaller bites, or you can leave it bigger bites. I think, you know, for this one, just as a whim, I'm just going to leave them larger spears. And we're going to get this in here. And they're going to be spread out. Nothing fancy right now, but we're going to get our garlic and sprinkle that around. And you know that already smells good. that out there. Gardener's grooming in the back. Sorry about that. I'm going to take a nice fresh onion and I'm going to get some thin slices out of that. Cut as much of the uh, end part off. Get rid of some of that pithiness. Some nice Slices. Should I yell at him? <laughs> I guess nobody ever said out there cooking was quiet. There's a dog now. Well, you know Bailey had to get involved in this. Get those seeds out of there because we don't want those. Throw 
those in the pot. It's just going to give a nice lemony taste, a little flavor, lemon garlic. Can't go wrong there. We can do the same thing with the onion. This is a, uh, just a yellow onion, and it's a little large. I'm not going to use all of it because I don't want to overpower the dish with onion. There's about uh, two thirds of the onion there. Let's cut it in half and get some nice slices out of that. Don't worry about being perfect, don't worry about being even. I guarantee you, once it's cooked and in the pot and people are eating it, they don't care. And if I don't care, you shouldn't care. Care about that in the background, that's for sure. Maybe next time we'll do it at Paramount Studios on the lot. Be a little cooler. Sound stage, you know, we can have fake trees and <laughs> fake Dutch ovens, you know. So anyway, all we want to do is we're just going to mix this all up right now and get it just out and then I want to layer it flat in the pot, just like that. Now we're going to take some salt, sprinkle that around in the pot, a couple pinches for me, maybe one for you, maybe three. Pepper, pinch, coarse ground black pepper, pinch and a half. Take yourself some nice extra virgin olive oil. And control the flow a little bit and just sprinkle on top of this. How much? I think it's more of a visual thing. Not soggy, not soaked, not too much. Nice little coating. What was that? Maybe three tablespoons. Maybe. That's it. Most of our heat's going to be on the top of the Dutch oven. Going to cook it going downwards instead of up or halfway. Roasting is heat from the top. When it's done, we're going to drizzle it with some really nice balsamic vinegar. That's going to top off the dish net real nice. So let's get this on the coals.